Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we will be reviewing Factor. As you guys know, this year I'm giving myself grace in the area of cooking specifically for myself and my health goals, trying out new ways to incorporate healthier foods into my life. And if I'm being honest, during the new year season, um, every company has some sort of sale. So I'm trying out some of them. As y'all see saw earlier, I tried out HelloFresh. And today I'm trying out Factor. The packaging for Factor was amazing. Comparable to HelloFresh, I actually prefer this packaging even better. I mean, I like it better because it had um, cushioning on the sides to protect the meal, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, in total, I spent $58.95 for 10 meals. Um, I got five um, different kinds of meals that I'll be trying out this week. Um, the original price, so if there wasn't a discount, it would have cost me $119.90. Um, the delivery fee would have been $10.99, but I got a $71.94 discount, bringing the total to, like I said, $58.95, which I thought was a pretty good deal for 10 mils. Honestly, I'm trying to look for stuff under $50, um, but this was all right. So I'm going to take you all through the week of me trying some of the meals and letting you know how I felt about them, whether they taste good, if they filled me up, if it's honestly, if it's worth the cost. So join me this week as we go through Factor. The package did come with coupons. It came with three separate factor coupons that I did share with my family so they can use if they are um, interested in trying factor. And another thing about factor um, that I like is that none of the meals came frozen. Everything was fresh. Um, I just had to put it in the refrigerator. Um, the con about that is that you do have to use it up within an expiry date. Like you, it, it, The packaging says not to freeze it. So you do have to use it up within the time frame. Um, that it comes in which is a con but I guess it's good because it's better to eat fresher food anyway so these are all of the meals I did get 10 but they're five different types they're all low calorie some are low carb and some are not I tried to mix it up a bit all right guys it's time for me to enjoy my first factor meal um, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. The one I'm having today is the homestyle ground beef and chai potato mash. So let's look at it. Okay. Hmm. That's how it looks. Let me see. What's the instructions to microwave it? Remove out of packaging, pierce, plastic film. Microwave on high for two minutes. That seems easy enough. And this one is 520 calories. Right. Poke it. And pop this in the microwave. Okay, so while that's heating up, one thing I will say is that the sodium is pretty high in this, as well as the saturated fat. So the calories are okay, but the nutrients like the sodium and fat are pretty high all right y'all i ended up heating it heating it up for an additional 30 seconds let's open this up it smells pretty good can y'all see that I was looking, the ground beef and mashed potatoes, and a side of veggies. All right. It's pretty hot, but let's give it a taste. I'll right, start with the veggies. Ooh, they actually look roasted. Let's see. Mmm. Um, it's seasoned really well. Thank you, God, for this smell. It's seasoned really well. Mm hmm. Yeah. 
This is really good. Wow. I'll be satisfied after eating this. Excuse me. Like, I'll be pretty full after eating this. So, so far, it's good. Okay, so I just finished the meal. <laughs> the, um, I forget the name of it, but it was really good. It was flavorful. As it sat and got cold, because I ended up stopping to do other stuff, it wasn't as good. <laughs> but it's really good when it's hot. And also, I'm not full. That's probably a me problem, but I thought it would fill me up, but I ate it pretty slowly. Still, it didn't fill me up, but it's okay. Yeah, I gotta work on getting fuller with smaller amounts, I guess. <laughs> the second meal that I had this day was the creamy poblano chicken. It came with um, zucchini noodles and a side of pinto beans, like ranch ranchero beans. This meal was very good. The zucchini and chicken um, lacked a little bit of like salt, but the beans were too salty. So I guess it balanced. they balanced each other out. The um, total meal was... 530 calories and again that saturated fat and that sodium it's just it was it's really high all in all this meal was really good it was really tasty um i do like the idea of the chicken and the zucchini i would definitely definitely be making that one day on my own basically chicken alfredo with zucchini noodles so if anything um factors even me ideas of things i can make okay guys this is the next meal i'll be trying today the roasted garlic ch garlic chicken. I've honestly look been looking forward to this one. I can take it out. That's how it looks. I'm gonna microwave it and then I'll taste it with y'all. This meal was 470 calories and the sodium was a little bit lower than the other meals, which I did appreciate. Right, this is it fresh out of the microwave. <laughs> the green beans look really good and flavorful. I don't expect this to not taste good. This is a chicken and a mashed potatoes. There's a lot of sauce. So let's see how this tastes. So from what I understand, um, usually one item is saltier than the other. So you have to eat them together. <laughs> the green beans lack flavor, but the chicken and the mashed potatoes are really, really good. So you have to eat them together for it to taste good. But. All in all, this is like a, I'll give it a nine. It's really good. This is real chicken. <clears throat> okay guys, I think this chicken meal is my favorite for multiple reasons. One, it tastes really good. And two, like I'm full and there's still more left over. And it has the least amount of calories. I think it was 470. Yeah, 470 calories, but like, I can't finish it. Versus the other ones yesterday, they were higher calorie, higher, higher everything. And like, I wasn't full after eating them. So I'll save this for later. I'll definitely finish it later, but this was really good. I said nine earlier, but I think this is a 10 out of 10. <laughs> all right, so I did get five total meals, but I'm gonna share with you all four in this video. If you want to see how I like the fifth meal, um, check me out on my Instagram page at Sophie's Cuisine to see how that one went. Um, I want to get this video up by Wednesday, so um, I can't share the fifth one with y'all. But anyways, um, yeah, let's see how the fourth meal tasted. All right, y'all, there's two more types to try. There is the chicken mushroom marsala and the ahi amarillo pepper chicken. I think I'm gonna go with this one because I'm pretty sure I know what this is gonna taste like. It's pretty similar to what I had for lunch, so I'll try this one with y'all, cause it's different. And then I'll try this one on Instagram and I'll show y'all tomorrow. So this is the nutri nutrition facts for the chicken. I think this has the least amount of saturated fat compared to all of them. And sodium is pretty much the same. But this has quinoa and like some sort of a, a tomato mixture and a sauce on the side so let's see how this tastes this was the meal straight out of the microwave the instructions did not say like to keep the sauce um, when microwaving it so I took the sauce out before I popped this in the microwave and y'all initially honestly I thought this would taste disgusting 
but y'all as soon as it came out of the microwave I just knew like it smelled amazing my mouth was salivating thinking about it it was really really flavorful I think this might be if not my favorite my second favorite it was so good I really enjoyed the texture of the quinoa to the point that I finished it y'all I I cleaned my plate this was delicious all in all y'all factor I like factor for a few reasons one it was really tasty two it was convenient like I didn't have to think about what to cook for myself during the week and three it did help me with my portion control and um, not overeating however for the price it was really expensive I'm very curious in seeing if I were to go buy out go buy the groceries myself um, if I could make all these meals for cheaper I'm sure I could and I think I could even make multiple of the meals for the price that I am paid for factor so give it a try y'all um, it might save you some time in the kitchen but that price though I don't know